Ok, xin chào các bạn và mình là Hồng Phong đến từ K68 và mình đang ở đây tại không gian của Game Việt Nam, Việt Nam Blockchain Week 2024 và ngồi cạnh mình ở đây là một vị khách rất là đặc biệt nhưng mà mình sẽ để anh ấy tự giới thiệu về bản thân. So this is Jamie, I'm from I represent Metric Stock. So Metric Stock is the RWAT brand and the Metric Stock Group. So for Metric Stock, we focus on the real world asset uh, practice in the crypto space. So we all together we have three products on shelf which include the tokenized T bill token SDBT, the stable coin USDV as well as the upcoming token uh, which is a tokenized gold token called XAUM. Yeah. So this is the department I represent. Yes. Very happy to be in this interview. Really happy to have you here. Well, so how is your experience so far? It's good. Um I'm Yeah. It's really excited to be part of GM Vietnam. I think we have a great uh, audience, uh, the very vibrant community uh, at the Vietnam community as well. So it's good to see that all the Web3 enthusiasts and crypto professionals gather together at this event to celebrate this annual gathering. Yeah. So all right. So uh, as as you sharing, like we, I think uh, from the community side, we see we are seeing that like, the bull market is coming on, and people are really happy with that. Yeah. Uh, so amid the, the the tendency of the market like that is. Uh, um, how is like Magic Board and also uh, other product is going? Can you say us uh, some milestones that you uh, will be uh, really proud of? Yes, I think at Magic Stock we actually launch products that are um, tailored to different market cycles. So last year is the bear market for the crypto industry. So we actually have short-term treasury peel token SDBT to cater to the uh, a lot of the professionals who wish to gain some exposure to the T bills. Uh, so we do it in a tokenized format. And in this uh, bull market, what we are trying to launch and do is a uh, tokenized uh, gold token. So basically it's XAUM. Um, it's actually the Asia's first tokenized gold token they will be launching this year. So we want to offer the kind of gold exposure, which is otherwise very difficult to gain access to um, for the Asian investors. So this is some of the um, products we'll be launching this year. Yeah. And, and about like key, uh, the key milestone, some number that you will be happy to share with us? Yes. In two months' time, we'll be doing the official launch of the tokenized gold token, um, and this will also come with some a lot of uh, benefits, and including the uh, waiver of redemption fees and minting fees for the first batch of uh, users. So we want to ensure that um, this this initial launch phase will be an exciting opportunity for everybody. Yeah. Uh, I want to deep dive a bit about like USDV. Well, yeah. as you know, like stablecoin is like a, a, an aspect that gained a huge attention from the retail community. So, um, can you say like really briefly and high level overview, like what's the difference between USDV from other stablecoin that people get prefer? Can yes. So USDV is uh, different in in actually two ways. So one is that uh, as we know that USDT and USDC, which are the two biggest uh, uh, stablecoin in the market right now. They, um, the underlying reserve asset, the issuer does not share the, uh, the yield with the ecosystem partners. Whereas for USDV, our stablecoin, we, we actually share the underlying yield, the TBU yield, with ecosystem partners. And we are, that's why we are also working with Coin98, Coin68, and even Viction, which is used to be the Tomo chain. Um, so, and in this way, we can incentivize the partners to contribute to the ecosystem together. And the second difference is that we are adopting the community approach. So basically, we by combining all these ecosystem partners together, we can together generate ideas and create this uh, positive um, flywheel that always provide more and more use cases to end users. Yeah. And uh, from your sharing, like Magic, Magic Ports and Magic Dog, it's had a huge ecosystem. Uh, 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 an onboarding project. So for the project builder out there, um, what should they know? Oh, when going when, when with you, how can they? What are your, the criteria that you're looking for for project to be on board in your ecosystem? Yes, we are definitely as metric stock. Uh, we are actually the RWA brand, the biggest RWA brand uh, in Asia. So we are definitely looking for partners and projects who also believe in the same vision as us, the RWA space. Um, which essentially would, for the next token they will be launching is the tokenized gold token. So for projects who actually would like to gain access or get some exposure um, to, to, to go as a very traditional asset class. I think this is some area we can work together. Um, for this upcoming token, we, do, we definitely have characteristics and advantages in the C5 and also on the DeFi space. So on the DeFi side, we are open for discussion and if you have interesting use case, um, they would like to get some collaboration with us, we are definitely happy to, happy to talk. Yeah. And 
Um, the other day I was talking with a uh, Spartan, Spartan group, and so there was a pretty uh, a VC, a pretty huge VC, and um, the, the thing is, uh, I noticed that uh, she also sharing with me, like, um, we are entering this circle, this circle is look, a bit like, I don't know if you said the same interview, uh, it might be wrong, uh, it's pretty much boring, pretty much boring comparing to the last season. So we have seen the DeFi summer booming, we have seen the it's booming of GameFi, and leading to that is some spike of meme coin as well. Yeah. But but for this circle, we are seeing like the uh, the development of like the infrastructure, and I think that's uh, uh, so that you guys are building. Um, so, so do you think that's like um, that's it's uh, a, a different like, approach? So uh, when the, when we enter a new circle, we have a different approach, or the de development of the foundation is the most thing uh, to to in, uh, incentivize the process that we on top of that. Um, yeah, I think for this cycle, what we really see is interesting is that I think we, we do see two trends that are very, very popular. So one is the BTC ecosystem, the yeah. BRC20. I think second is on the new layer ones, like including like Telegram Ton. Yeah. Um, this has been very hot topics for this cycle. So I do think that building out the fundamental infrastructure is crucial for the long-term development of the industry. But I also believe that the really attractive and fun use cases for the retail users is what really will drive mass adoption. Um, so take for example the, the, the case for, for Ton is that we actually see a lot of interesting projects that's been built on the Ton blockchain, the Telegram mini bots. Um, this actually creates like very creative and fun use cases for the end users and this is a major step driving the industry forward at this space. So for us we are also trying to um, figuring out a way to integrate with the Tom blockchain also to offer more RWA products to Telegram users in the near future, at least for this year. Yeah. And follow up with that part as well. So you are saying like uh, real world says RWA is like one of your like key focus uh, for, for Magic Pro as well. Um, so when it comes to like uh, the, the legal framework and so the regulation, yep. uh, how is like you guys working on that uh, uh, from, from the, your point of view in Magic Pro? And so for the last several years, there were a few incidents that <clears throat> hurt the, the user, right? We can, we can know about that as well. So how do you, uh, as a project builder, people who have the front view of what is happening right now, so how do you protect user when we're coming with that as well? Yes, so for RWA space, I think the underlying assets that are supporting the tokens in the market, um, there are a few aspects to it that really can provide this uh, trust and clarity to end users. Um, on the legal structure perspective, from a legal structure perspective, what we try to address, how we try to address this problem is that we try to set out this special uh, purpose vehicle. So basically we try to achieve bankruptcy removeness. Um, so that when, even when Matrix Port is uh, going bankrupt, the assets un held under this entity are still belong to the, uh, to the holder, token holders. Um, it will not be part of the liquidation process. And the second one is that we are also getting a legal opinion from established law firms to recognize that our tokens is not a um, security token, which, is, which might put us subject to the security laws of certain jurisdictions. Um, it, but that's the second part of it. I mean, the third part of it is that we are trying to provide as much transparency as possible. So one is that we actually provide daily audit statements for our underlying assets. We are also engaged with very professional and qualified service providers in the space. So with their reputation and match support reputation and also by these daily transparency reports, we can ensure that end users are, can trust us with their, with their physical assets. So that, that will be a lot of work. So like how do you plan to like bootstrapping the growth of like everything that you are doing? I think because there are a lot of work needs to be done, right? Yeah. So, so how are you like pre uh, preparing to bootstrapping like the whole process and on about like millions of million users on your network? Yes, I think definitely bootstrapping the initial phase for this for any RWA project, it's a, it's a long process. This, this is an owner's response. Um, but I think for RWA space to actually grow further, um, I think user trust is definitely the most important. We are actually here for the long game and not just to make quick cash and leave the industry. Yeah. So I think Metric Store as a brand, we are actively trying to com contribute to the ecosystem and to the growth of the RWA space by providing better structural regulations, uh, contribute to better regulatory um, opinions, and also try to establish some kind of framework that all other projects can use in the future. Yeah, I think that's, that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. And are you planning to like, uh 
adopt more chains, more layer one, uh, and also layer two on USDV, so that, so that people can explore more use case for that uh, for this asset that you are providing. Yes, I think one of the key um, advantage for us is that um, USDV by itself is a obd chain uh, ERC twenty token, which means that we can freely migrate to different chains easily uh, without too much technical uplift. I think that's one key advantage uh, of our our stablecoin as compared to the other stablecoins. So we are definitely expanding to more interesting and up and coming ecosystems. Um, so, let, for example, we actually deploy on Viction. Um, this is actually the, v the very Vietnam uh, number one blockchain. So we are working very closely with Coin98, uh, also Coin98 Wallet to make all this happen. So. Yes, we are definitely expanding to more ecosystems by providing more access to different groups of end users. Yeah, I think that's, that's the answer. Cool, cool. And so this is a bit like more from your personal point of view, like you are a veteran builder and also the user and investor in the space as well. And with we uh, are entering the new bull market, there is a lot of new users, new retail users that are coming to the space. So what are your advice for them when they come into um, to the space? Like how to minimize the risk can happen and still like, still, like um, make the, the profits, of, so to say, and like, so take benefits from the, what the tune of the project builder are, are giving and also the blockchain uh, itself. Yes, I think for you, retail user perspective uh, entering the space and the initial phase you will be handling with a lot of information new information very different from what you have seen before um, so i think byor is something that's very important for every new investor or every new retail user that just joined the space uh, DYOR will stand for do your own research yeah. yeah so for any project that you are interested in or any token that you are interested in make sure you do proper research on the team the background of the team what the project is trying to solve and um, how you can actually benefit from their growth. I think this is something that we, these are the three things we should always figure out before we invest in anything. So also, I think on top of that, understanding the basics of blockchain technology is also super important. Uh, understanding how you should best safeguard your private key um, and how you can protect yourself from different scams, different ty types of scams. It's also something that I think every new investor should be should, should learn as well. Just but verify, right? Yes. Yeah, just but verify. Yes, exactly. All right. So yeah, I think thank you for really insightful sharing with us, yes. and thank you for the time of it. Uh, can you have some last words to the community of Vietnam and also yes. like audience? Yeah, super uh, great to be in Vietnam for GM Vietnam. Uh, I think this is a great event, and uh, as Matrix Dog. Uh, as a other brand, we definitely hope to connect with the Vietnamese community more. So we are actually looking forward we are to join more events, even hosting some events in in Vietnam as well. So that we can best connect with the community here. So if you have any um, types of collaborations you want to reach out to us, just feel free to contact us via our official website. Yeah. And also follow the, the social media of Machidop and Machipo as well to stay updated with the most uh, news and also the improvement that, that will happen along the way. All right, thank you, thank you so much. for joining with us thank today. You so much. Thank you so much. Yeah.